Have you ever been called a simp? What is a simp? Simp is an internet slang term that's often used to describe someone who gives someone they like a bit too much attention and sympathy, only in hopes that they'll notice them or like them back. This attention is often given to someone who doesn't reciprocate the same feelings for the simp, or in a fair amount of cases online, may not even know they exist. So are you a simp? How can you tell the difference between simply crushing on someone or full hardcore simp mode? Well, here are a few subtle signs that you are being a simp. Number one, you're courteous or kind to them, but only because you expect something in return. What are your intentions when being courteous and kind to someone you like? Are you well-mannered and kind to others in general? Or are you going out of your way to show your crush you're sweet and courteous only because you expect something in return from them? If you're only being kind to your crush simply to win them over, it's likely you're simping. Yes, people can be a bit kinder to people they like more, but it all comes down to intention. Are you trying to only show off how great selfless and sympathetic you are? Hmm, not looking too good, my friend. Not looking too good. Number two, you often defend them online only in hopes that they'll notice you. Do you overly defend or comment on someone's online posts only in hopes that they'll notice you? You see a small injustice take place on social media towards someone, but decide not to intervene because you don't find them attractive. But then you see something unfair happening to that extremely attractive influencer you just barely followed an hour ago and have to immediately comment in their defense. People often want to defend and stick up for their friends, loved ones, and even their favorite influencers or YouTubers online. The difference lies in your intentions, once again. Are you defending them in hopes that they'll notice your comment? Give you a heart or a thumbs up? Number three, they don't like you back, but you continue to simp. A classic sign of simping. Have you flirted with your crush, hinted that you like them, but they seem uninterested, or have made it clear that they don't feel the same way? You can still be friends, but do you find yourself trying a bit more to impress them, defend them, be extra kind to them, all in hopes that their feelings may change? Yeah, you are most likely simping. Number four, constantly trying to impress them. Are you constantly thinking of ways to impress your crush? As mentioned earlier, if you're trying to impress someone who has made it clear that they're uninterested, it's, well, simping behavior. Simps are overly eager to amuse and entertain their crush. They want to get their attention, and one way is through showing off or bragging. Many people want to impress the people that they like, but if it's the main focus of yours and they've already made it clear that they're not interested, it's best to relax and just be yourself, unfortunately for you, as a friend. Number five, you're buying them things, doing favors, even though you're not close friends or partners. Okay, extreme simp mode. That person who's made it clear they just aren't into you romantically, even though you're not particularly close or even friends for that matter, you start buying them gifts or going out of your way to do favors for them. While the thought is sweet, it's also a sign of a classic simp. Remember, what's the intention here? Out of the kindness of your heart or to win over their heart? See what I did there? People do favors for each other, yeah. But if you're going out of your way to do huge favors for them or buying them unnecessary gifts that will leave you in a major credit card debt, it's likely you're a simp. And number six, you put their needs way above yours only because you want them to like you back. Do you say yes to every favor or request from the person you like, even if these favors will require you to put their needs way above yours? It's nice to think of others and help out when you can, but if you're going out of your way to help them and often put their needs before yours to impress them, then you're probably simping. This is a classic simping symptom. It's best to get help early on and talk to someone about your symptoms before they worsen, uh, but not your crush. So are you a simp? Let us know in the comments down below. It's good to be kind to others, respectful, and come to their defense if someone's being unfair to them. It all comes back to intentions when identifying a simp. You can still be kind and courteous to your crush, but ask yourself this. Are you only being kind to them in hopes they praise you, like you? Have they let you know they don't feel the same way about you? There is likely someone out there for you. 
but it may not be the person you're simping for. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend or a crush. Uh, actually, maybe not your crush this time. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon to get more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.